Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Rillaboom from Pokemon. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw the piece of hair in front of his face with a curve line downwards. Turn it slightly to the right, same as a good turn back to the left and upwards. Semi circle turn at that corner downwards, sharp turn back up to the same path, extend it upwards, semi circle turn at that corner, and turn it downwards on the right side. On the right side of that, I'm gonna draw a V shape, turn it upwards, semi circle turn back downwards, sharp turn back to the right diagonally and curve line downwards and turn it to the left diagonally with a curve line on the left side I'm gonna draw a diagonal line out turn it downwards and turn it across to the right below that in the middle point I'm gonna draw a curve line to the left and down and turn it downwards semi circle turn back inwards at this lower point a line across at the bottom point of the mouth and diagonal turn back upwards inside of that shape I'm gonna draw a curve line across for his mouth at the middle point right there and at this upper corner above I'm gonna draw a v-shape and above that another v-shape at that point for the left side of that I'm gonna draw a curved diagonal line to the outer corner of his eye right there a circular shape inside of the eye and another smaller one in the middle point on the right eye I'm gonna draw a curve line across turn it diagonally upwards at this outer corner a circular shape inside of the eye right there and another one in the middle point below the eye I'm gonna draw across a curve line and a curve line downwards at the side of that semi circle turn diagonally upwards and semi circle turn back sideways to the side of the eye inside of the ear I'm gonna draw a curve line at this corner and I'm gonna draw a similar shape on the left side right here now behind the ear on the right I'm gonna draw a curve line out semi circle turn diagonally up another diagonal line up semi circle turn sideways I'm gonna copy that same shape again at this corner and on the left side I'm gonna draw a similar shape at that corner and here and right there all the way downwards below the ear and below that diagonal curve line out turn it inwards at this lower point sharp turn back up and turn it back to the left and upwards in the middle of that I'm gonna do a curve line downwards and I'm gonna copy that same shape on the right side right there a curve line across to the ear on the left side and a curve line to the right and turn it upwards at the side of that I'm gonna draw his shoulder with the curve line out same as a turn downwards another curve line below that to his elbow point same as a turn diagonally out and turn it downwards for the inner line of the arm the curve line right here same as a turn outwards diagonally and semi circle turn downwards at the side of that I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line out and down sharp turn sideways to the right and turn it downwards diagonal turn back up and copy that same shape across the wrist and the side here a similar shape right there and a curve line across at this upper point 
Now for his thumb, on the left side, a diagonal line down, turn it downwards, diagonal turn out, semicircle turn, to the right and turn it diagonally back upwards. Sideways at that corner, a line downwards, and at the side of that, a curve line out, turn it downwards, semicircle turn to the right, semicircle turn back upwards. Copy that same shape again for the other fingers on the right side right there and turn it upwards at that corner. Now at the side of his shoulder, I'm gonna draw a V-shape at this corner. Extend it out on the left side, same as could turn downwards, same as you could turn diagonally back up to the middle point and mirror the same shape on the right side right there. Now I'm gonna copy the same shape of the left arm. Now for the fingers on the left, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards at the side of the thumb, turn it outwards at this lower point. A curve line downwards below that, same as you could turn to the left at this lower point, same as you could turn back up diagonally with a curve line and a short curve line upwards. Copy the same shape for the other fingers on the left side right there and turn it all the way up at that corner. Now at the side of the left arm at the right corner, I'm gonna draw a curve line across to the middle point, turn it upwards in the middle point and mirror the same shape again on the right side right there. Turn it sideways to the left at this upper point, diagonal curve line back up and to the right, turn it back to the left at the middle point right there. I'm gonna mirror the same shape on the left side here. Below that, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line to the right and down, turn it downwards, curve line across to the right, mirror the same shape at this lower point, curve line downwards to the left and curve line out and upwards turn it back inwards at this upper point inside of that I'm gonna draw a curve line for each sections right there and I'm gonna copy that same shape on the right waist above that I'm gonna draw a line upwards at that corner and a line downwards below that. In the middle point below, I'm gonna draw a curve line across, turn it diagonally down on the right side, and curve line downwards towards the hand. Continue the line beyond the thumb, and turn it downwards, same as turn to the right. And on the left side, a diagonal curve line from the middle point to the left, turn it downwards and semi-circle turn at the bottom point right there to the left. Curve line across to the left, turn it upwards and semi-circle turn to the right. Copy the same shape of the toe on the left side right here and at the side here, I'm going to extend it upwards with a diagonal curve line, turn it back downwards diagonally to the right side. Above that, I'm going to draw a curve line up from this outer corner, same as you could turn back inwards diagonally to the right. Now on his ribs, I'm going to draw an arch curve line right there, copy the same shape at this lower point and stop halfway in the middle, mirror the same shape at this lower point. I'm gonna copy the same shape again on the left side right here and for his hair at the side of his body on the left here I'm gonna draw a diagonal line down and to the left turn it back upwards 
copy that same shape again at this corner and at the side of his shoulder on the left I'm gonna draw a similar shape right there and continue that shape along the side and across the top of his head right there all the way to the right side That's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.